So welcome to Black Hat Hacking Series. So in this video, we'll start a topic named as Identity Hiding. So within this topic, first of all, we'll get to know that which is your main identity which goes over the internet. Our computer always have two type of addresses. One is the IP address and one is the MAC address. So what do you think that which address goes over the internet? Is it a MAC or is it an IP? I'll give you the answer. It's an IP address which goes over the internet. So which IP address goes over the internet? It's always your router's IP. For example, you're using a public Wi-Fi of a coffee shop and there are 10, 20 people who are using the Wi-Fi at the same time. If any of the one does any crime there, only coffee shop's main IP address, the router's IP will go over the internet. And if the police makes any investigation, they'll be only be able to reach back the coffee shop, not the specific person who did it. So my point to say is public IP is the only one which goes over the internet, not our computer's IP. Even if you have a internet connection in your house and your father also use that, your mother also use a, the same Wi-Fi, you also use it. So once you do any crime, your router's IP will go over the internet. So police would be able to only reach your house, but they'll not be knowing that your father did the crime, your mother did it or you did it. So there is always a one IP as per one internet connection, only that goes over the internet. Anyone who are sharing that internet, that information doesn't go over the internet. So let's see, first of all, we'll go, we will go to a website named as hoover.net to check our IP address. Like if you can see, this is our real IP on this computer right now, and it's in the Re Russian Federation. It's, it's a Russian IP. And uh, so IP is the main thing which goes over the internet, but there are some websites who also collect some extra information from your computer. That what is your Chrome version? What is the operating system version? And uh, what is your ISP? And even the time zone over your computer. So it shows that it is like a plus, you know, the GMT 7.0, maybe it's a Russian time zone. So they'll be able to know that you are coming from Russia and uh, from your time zone even it clears that you're actually from Russia you're not you know hiding your IP so people always think to hide their IP only but it's not only the case along with your IP you should also change your time on your computer you should also you know change your screen resolution like like that so everything which is visible here we have to hide everything so that nothing of your computer goes over the internet now, what are the ways we can use to hide our identity, hide our IP address? So these are the ways. So we'll first continue with the proxy sites. It's the simplest way, you know, to bypass uh, some restrictions if some websites are blocked or if you want to visit a website anonymously. Like I just go to Google and I type proxysite.com. So as you can see, this proxy site.com is open. Here we can choose our server that from which server you want to go forward, like from US server. So here if I go to hoover.net, and it will show your IP that now your traffic is coming from United States. Because you are going through this website. So that's always a mechanism behind IP hiding. There is no way to hide your IP. It's always IP routing that you go to somewhere else and from there you go forward. And all the websites just see the last coming address that from where you are coming right now, not from where actually you started. At first you started from Russia to China, then China to to Germany and then Germany to US. So US will only see Germany. They'll not see that from where actually you started and what is your actual IP now. But your ISP is seeing, the internet provider is seeing that you're opening this proxy site and through this proxy site you're, you're accessing whoer.net. So how we can use some more safer technique in which you'll be able to browse safely and your ISP will also not be able to see anything. For that, we'll go to the second technique, which is the Tor browser. It's a browser like Chrome, Firefox, which you can, you know, go to Google 
and uh, you can type uh, tor browser download you just go like this and download after downloading you just next 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 and install that's it so we can start our tor browser this is a browser just built to surf the internet anonymously any website you open in this browser will automatically take you through the tor through an onion routing protocol and it will just be hiding your ip for every website you'll visit in that like i'll go to hoover.net and if you see it just shows anonymous proxy no country even it's showing and if you see this browser is first connecting to france then netherlands then again france uh, but it's a different area in france then going to internet and it's just seeing anonymous proxy it's no time zone can you see <laughs> no proper time just only language is us no proper ip no proper versions nothing everything it hides automatically for you that's the tor browser here we are improving our quality from the proxy sites to a better, better platform but here also one problem we have anything you open in the tor browser it will hide your ip but what if if you start some softwares like skype team viewer or any other tools but they all will be going through your real ip so what how, what should we do to hide the whole computer's ip that any program which goes to internet it should go from a fake ip then you have to buy a third thing whether a vpn or whether vpn chain so let me first explain you what is vpn then we'll go on the vpn chaining vpn is a software like uh, this one if you can just type on the google top 10 vpn companies and you'll see uh, so many companies like express vpn nord vpn cyber ghost ip vanish viper vpn you just need to make sure that no no of the company should be headquarters in the us if it's headquarters in us it means they are compromised by the fbi they and uh, it means you're going through fbi then because any company works in us they have to go through the rules and regulations which they have they'll not focus much on in, on, on your anonymity they'll more focus on the rules they are provided with so you must prefer china and the russia vpn companies to be more safer like i have purchased this viper vpn and you just need to you know go to their website uh, anyone you can buy and get started and they have like three dollars monthly plan you buy it and they'll just give you a software to install you do next 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 and that's it. it it's like that you can select this location show all servers it's up to you that uh, which location you want to select like canada J uh, japan italy anyone you just select and that's it and connect and once i connect i just show you and then if we go to whoer.net it will just change your ip and your whole computer will go through this vpn through a changed ip address that's it connected now let me go to whoer.net directly not through a proxy site or not through a tor and it shows you united states before it was showing you russia there so these are the couple of things basically which i just learned in this video rest in the next video we'll go through the other techniques to be anonymous and the next will also I, i just also let you know about the vpn chaining even vpn chaining is that you buy multiple vpns like one you bought a viper vpn the second one you bought maybe express vpn as i shown you there are so many companies basically like first you connect to one vpn to somewhere in us then you connect to a second vpn to somewhere in germany then you connect to third vpn maybe somewhere in the in uh, in russia and then you are going to the internet so in this way you are actually changing your ip so many times that if some investigator comes up he'll get mad 
he cannot travel to so many countries you know to ask for your ip address and it would be mostly safer for you to be anonymous so yes there are so many other techniques as it's written down in the notepad we'll cover them in the next video what about the v vpn with the vps socks and the tail overs so in this video we just learned about the proxy sites which is the least safer then more safer tor browser but it's only for just websites then we have also seen about the vpn for which you can use your whole computer to hide your ip and you can use multiple vpns you know to be more safer so i hope you you like the video and thank you for watching